Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. In this video guys, we are going to understand about hugging face spaces. So yes guys, if you are a AI or machine learning enthusiast like me and you want to create these cool artificial intelligence apps, you want to use large language models in your apps and you want to create these apps without the hassle of actually going to deploy these on a server, buying the hosting space or something like that, then Hugging Face is the solution for you. Because Hugging Face has provided us with something called a spaces where we can deploy our machine learning apps really with just a matter of clicks and you can share them with the community all over the world. So isn't that so much cool guys? I think it's really great. And it's a really good initiative by Hugging Face to allow the open source developers to actually try out their skills and build up their skills as well. So without wasting any time further, let's get started with Hugging Face Spaces. So if you guys want to explore Hugging Face Spaces guys, you must have an account on Hugging Face. You can see on my screen that I'm already logged in into my account, which is super lazy coder. Once you go into your account guys, then there is this button called as spaces here in the top menu. Once you click on this, uh, you will actually land up on the spaces page, which I am just showing you on my screen. And here you can see guys that many people have already created spaces or I can say machine learning apps. So I would be using these terms interchangeably. Spaces is basically nothing but a app that is hosted on Hugging Face Space. Okay. So here you can see that there is a section called as spaces of the week where the most liked and the most popular applications are displayed and you can see that all the other applications and all the other trending applications are also shown here okay so for example there's something called a screenshot to html where you can just go upload a screenshot here and click on submit and it is going to render an app you know complete html for you so this is a really cool app guys do try it out on your own time but i just wanted to show you that uh, all the open source developers are you know able to actually create these applications and share it with anyone they want to and uh, you know this creates a really good portfolio for yourself as well if you want to you know uh, improve your career or uh, grow your career in the machine learning or ai space okay so that is about the uh, amazing community of Hugging Face Spaces guys. Now let's see how we can create our own Hugging Face Space. So first of all guys, you have to go to your profile and or you can just go on the spaces here and just click on create new space. So once you click on create new space guys, you will see a form here. Uh, the owner is obviously yourself and the space name. Uh, is the name of the application or the name of the space that you want to you know name it so for example for us we can just say my dummy space this could be my space name next comes the license so if there is some software that you want to use in your uh, you know application and you need a license for that there are certain licenses given by hugging face or listed here you can select one of them but if you just have a simple application i would say just leave it blank now comes the most important part of Hugging Face Space, that's the space SDK which you want to use. Now, Hugging Face provides us four options. First is called a Streamlit. So guys, if you know that Streamlit is basically a Python module that allows you to create simple user interface for uh, which, which can be easily integrated with your Python code, okay? And if you guys have been following my previous videos and if you have, you know, uh, seen the GitHub of that video, you would know that I have only created Streamlit apps or Streamlit chat applications and uploaded it to Hugging Face and shown it to you how it works. Okay. So if you have a Streamlit app, which you want to deploy it to Hugging Face Space, you can easily do that. Just select the Streamlit SDK and uh, other SDK that Hugging Face provides is Gradio. So just like Streamlit provides the user interface for your Python modules or your Python code to easily blend in, Gradio is similar like that. It is also a Python package that you can just install and you can use the libraries to create a user interface for yourself. Okay. 
just the difference between gradio and uh, streamlet is that the look and feel is a bit different with gradio and gradio has got a lot of built-in uh, functions the built-in classes which can make you create your uh, user forms especially your input forms or your chat forms very very quickly okay so that's why most of the applications in hugging face are actually created with gradio because it gives you that ease of use and you can easily create your input forms very quickly with gradio okay next comes docker so guys if you don't have a simple user interface application simple web application which or i can say simple chat application you don't have that you want to create something different then docker uh, templates could be of use uh, for you now one of the example of docker template was auto train which i covered in my last video so guys docker uh, templates are basically just containers that have a certain code running in them okay and one of those uh, template is auto train so if you use auto train template uh, it will give you an input form where you can give the name of your model give the data set and you know click on it uh, click on auto train and it will auto train or train the model with your data set okay so these are certain specific functions that you want to do okay like for example auto train for example uh, something called as chat ui right so if you want a built in chat application you don't want to create your own user interface you don't want to you just want to create a built in chat application use your model and that's it you just want to do it at a few clicks you don't want to code anything you can use something called as chat ui so these are some docker containers that are provided to you uh, by hugging face and you can easily deploy them uh, but remember guys as you can see on my screen some of these templates have the configuration which needs them to use certain hardware so for example with chat you, you can see that the hardware it needs is uh, 4 cpu and uh, uh, the hardware that is provided by the hugging face uh, for this particular configuration is chargeable okay so just remember that thing guys that if you want to use the free hardware then for certain docker templates it might not be compatible so just remember that suggestion because either your application will not run at all or it will run very very slowly okay so just take the suggestions in mind so that is about docker templates and obviously guys if you don't want to use any of these templates you want to create your own docker template you can just click on blank what's going to happen is it will create a project for you which will have an empty docker template and you can fill it with your own configuration okay now comes static template now so guys static template is one of the fastest way of creating any application in hugging face and static template basically provides you a few applications which are already created for you and you just have to basically uh, deployed on hugging face okay there are certain static html templates that are already created for you certain html app already created you just have to deploy them okay so uh, one of the example here is uh, is transformer js let's start from the right so guys transformer js is basically a javascript based html project which will give you object detection functionality so you can just upload an image and it will start detecting objects okay and then gradiolite uh, which is also a static template in hugging face but unfortunately guys this template was not running for me it was giving some error so i think there is some issue with gradiolite and that's why this template is not working right now uh, paper project paper project is very uh, interesting static template and i will show you the paper project as well uh, because i have used this in one of my spaces uh, it is just an html website it's just a plain html website guys uh, which is uh, having some information about the neural radiance and it is some concept in artificial intelligence which we will not go into deeper but it's just that html website which is showing okay and in the end if you don't want to have any of these built-in or already created apps you can create your own html app by just selecting a blank template it will create an html project for you where you will have an index.html and you can add your own javascript file to you know just just host your own html project okay so once you have selected the space sdk which is the most important part you just have to select 
your hardware right so for example for static template uh, because it is so lightweight uh, or always the space hardware would be cpu basic that is the free one but let's say if you select streamlet or gradio so the space hardware uh, drop down will give you multiple options to deploy your application into and uh, you can see except the first option all of the options are paid so you must have a billing account associated with hugging face for that okay so once you have selected your ha space hardware then you can select if your space has to be public or if it has to be private so let's say if you make it private that uh, whoever visits your hugging face profile will not be able to see the space but if you make it public then you can just share the url of your spaces with anyone in the world and they will be able to see that space and even interact with it pretty freely okay so just to give you guys one example i'm just going to quickly use a static template and select transformer js and uh, then let me click on uh, public create space and you can see in within few minutes the space is created now because it's a static template guys it you know it doesn't take any time but if you would have selected gradio or streamlet it would have first built your project you know the, there would be some logs and finally the installation would have been completed and then you would be able to see that but the static templates are pretty you know really really easy to do okay so i just clicked on trying an example and now it's analyzing and uh, yeah so it's doing something but i just will quickly upload an image here and then just see if that works that's one thing guys that the hugging face faces although are very quick and very easy to do sometimes they are a little bit slow to run because once they started running then it becomes a little bit slow okay so now you can see it's here i can click on upload image and maybe i can go here and i can upload virat kohli's image and you can see it's now analyzing the image of virat kohli and after some analysis it is going to detect that if this is a person or if this is an object or if it's an object then what type of object it is if it's a car or orange or something like that but yeah obviously you can see that uh the app is not very fast and the reason for that is guys oh okay so you can see now it detects virat kohli as a person but you can see it took some time because it's running on a free hardware okay but isn't that amazing guys like within few minutes we created our own object detection website web url and now you can share it with anyone in the world boast that you know artificial intelligence so you can do something cool like object detection and even if you don't know any programming you can still do that right and if you know a little bit of programming you can obviously use streamlet to create something really cool like we just saw in the beginning which is screenshot to html you can create your own chat ui uh, you can create your own chat gpt like uh, ui where you can use large language models where you can use even open source models to uh, you know interact with the user and give answer to their queries so yeah there you go now uh, this is the url to your space guys so because it's a public uh, space uh, you can just share this url with anyone but if you uh, if it's not the url whoever goes to your profile so if you now go to your profile if i go to super lazy coder you can see that i will be able to see this app so this transformer.js app this is the app which we just created and you can see it's the same my dumb space app but the thing is guys now on your profile on your hugging face profile you have these templates you have these uh, spaces created so now if you share a url of your profile with any of the people you want to connect with they will be able to see how much work you have done they will be able to analyze it and it will help you in the growth of your career as well now here you can see guys that some of the things that i did before this video was i created a static template and in a static template with a blank static template there is nothing right if you go to the files you can basically see that it's just index.html and you can go to this index.html and you can even edit it here okay you can edit it here you can save it here and you can do whatever you want 
also you can actually go to the git and clone this code okay so if you go back to your uh, if i go back to my my spaces you will be able to see that let's say there is this uh, okay yeah one more thing you can see that this this uh, neural radiance field was nothing but that uh, paper one uh, uh, static template okay so this is just a neural radiance field html website but another thing that i wanted to show you that if you go to your space and you can go to the settings of the space so you can go to the settings of the space and oh okay so you can see that here you can just uh, you can just upload any new file and you can click on this three dots and you can click on clone repository so if you click on clone repository it will show you the git command so this is my git command to actually clone it on my local machine once you clone it on your local machine guys then you can just add any file update any file do anything and you can commit it but just remember guys when you are going to commit the code on this repository it is going to ask you a uh, access token okay and the access token that you are going to give you is going to be in your profile so if you go to your profile uh, sorry if you go to settings in your profile and you go to ssh uh, sorry go to access tokens then remember that if you want to push anything in your git repository you have to create a write token so if you are familiar uh, familiar with git you know that whenever we want to push anything into our git repository it asks for a certain username and password but in case of hugging face it is going to ask you a git token and that token you can just copy from here and paste it whenever the prompt the git prompt ask you for any uh, you know the credentials so you can just paste this token auth token and you will be good to go this is your password and your username is nothing but your uh, profile name so for example for me my git credentials are uh, super lazy coder as my username and the password is the token which is there in my repository okay and that is how you will be able to git clone this repository you will be able to create branches you will be able to push into this repository and you can do all the things that you want and update your hugging face space as soon as you upload anything to the git repository guys the hugging face space immediately starts building it immediately starts installing it and then it starts to uh simply you know simply uh, deploy the app and you are able to see the changes okay so that was the video guys i hope you guys like this video and i hope your knowledge of hugging face spaces became a little bit better i know there was no programming or no coding in this video but i just wanted to still do it so that all of you guys get familiarized with uh, hugging face spaces how cool it is and how important it is and how easy it is to use because in our future videos guys we will be creating a lot of applications a lot of ai applications and the only way we are going to deploy them is using hugging face spaces okay so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you guys like this video if you do then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and also guys if you have guys have not subscribed to my channel then please 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 do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos and in the end guys if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write down in the comment section below i would be really happy to read it and give replies to it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye